let's talk about everything you need to know about the left left right hey i'm beatrix and let's talk about everything you need to know about the right hand technique uh, because obviously if you develop bad practice habits it will hurt later and it will be really difficult to fix uh, those technical issues in the future so I think it's crucial to understand how these tiny details are related to each other in order to build a strong but still uh, effortless right hand technique. So in this video I will show you how to place your right hand properly and I also will show you some uh, bad positions as examples. Okay, so let's get into it. So first of all let's talk about placing. Uh, you should find a very natural position where, where your hand naturally falls. For me, it's, it's around here. And uh, think about that your hand is the continuation of your lower arm. So avoid angles and rough edges. So just uh, avoid picking like this or avoid picking like this. Just simply naturally how your hand continues your lower arm. And it's good to choose a midpoint. For example, for me, it's, it's here. From where it's easier to, it's quite easy to move to every other position. It's easy to move from here to here. It's easy to move from here to here. But it's difficult if uh, if I want to move from here to here. It's, it's a big jump. Okay, so just choose a, a good midpoint from where you can easily move to most of the other positions. I often see something I call collapsing wrists, which is uh, when you put down your, your wrist on the top of the guitar and you try to pick like, like this. And uh, people are doing this to get more stability and to stay closer to the strings, but it really can stop you uh, in playing fast or freely. It really stop you from improving in classical guitar. Another similar thing what I see very often is uh, bracing. Very similar, but in this case you put down your pinky or I don't know, or ring finger on the top of the guitar to get closer and more stability. Believe me, it will just stop you from improving, stop you from playing fast and comfortably and to develop a really good right hand technique. But if you let go of, of uh, putting down your wrist on the top of the guitar and from putting down your pinky on the top of the guitar, maybe you will experience uh, something like a bouncing right hand. So when you are picking, your right hand is bouncing like this a bit. That's Probably because your picking is more like hooking the strings, something like this. So bouncing hand is also a thing you have to work against. But how you do that without putting down your wrist or your ring finger on the top of the guitar? Well, before I get into the details, let me just remind you quickly that if this video is helpful for you, if you think what I'm doing here is valuable, feel free to like this video, subscribe on the channel, would help me a lot. And also, if you like that painting behind me, you barely see it, but okay, it's there. Uh, feel free to become a patron, so you would become a super cool person and a super huge supporter of this channel. Thank you for considering it. So let's go back to bouncing hand for a second. To avoid that without putting down your wrist or your pinky on the top of the guitar, uh, you need to develop a right picking technique. And for that you have to understand that picking starts from the knuckles, like this, more like this. And if your hand is bra uh, not bracing, bouncing, uh, then you probably are picking more like this. So once again, in the right picking technique, the movement starts from the base knuckles and the fingertip isn't doing much, it's quite relaxed. So bad picking and good picking starting from knuckles. One more thing you should consider is that uh, a relaxed hand looks like this. this. An extended hand looks like this. This is, this is tension. This is release. So after picking, 
you don't actually have to do anything in order to get back to the original position, to, to the starting point, but to relax your hand. So when you release the tension of your hand, of your picking hand, your fingers just naturally goes back to a good uh, starting point without using any extra effort. It just it just goes back. So after picking, you don't have to do anything just to relax your hand and it will go back to the original place by itself. One last point we have to cover is uh, your thumb. And I often see this mistake when uh, the direction of picking with thumb goes uh, behind uh, the AMI fingers like this. But the right picking is when uh, it has a circular or almond shaped root in front of or left uh, to the E finger like this. May seems like just a tiny detail, but it really can hold you back. If you if the direction is, is like this, if, if your thumb goes behind the other fingers, it easily can stuck there and you won't be able to bring it back in time for the next picking. I explain uh, this maybe a bit better in my other video when I'm, I'm uh, covering tremolo technique. Check it out. I will leave a link down below and also you will find it somewhere else here. But in short, just don't let your thumb to go behind your other fingers. Okay, let's summarize quickly from the beginning what we have talked about so far. So, you need to find a position where your hand naturally falls. For me, it's here it's a good midpoint from where I can easily move my hand to most of the other positions. That's, that's a good midpoint. Your hand is the continuation of your lower arm, so just avoid uh, angles like this, angles like this. It should look really natural how your hand continues your lower arm. Also, don't put down your wrist or your ring or pinky on the top of the guitar for, for more stability. Uh, you need to work against bouncing hand by stop hooking the strings and start the movement uh, from your bass knuckles when you are picking. Also, when you are picking with your thumb, it should go in front of or left to the E finger. I think I covered everything. Did I miss, did I miss something? So now you know how a good right hand works, but making it simple, natural and effortless is still a work ahead of you. And if you are not quite sure how to start with it, uh, here's my video about playing effortlessly and uh, in which I can guide you through it so you don't have to figure it out on your own. And also don't forget to warm up before every practice session. Here's why and how. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you found it uh, valuable and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye!